When you're comparing the multitasking capabilities of the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold and the Google Pixel Fold, there is a very big distinction to be made. The Pixel Fold can only do two apps at a time. Of course, some apps can do picture in picture like YouTube to give you kind of a third app, but normally in standard terms, it can only do two apps at a time. Where the Z Fold devices can do three apps plus a fourth app in a floating window. In this video, I'm going to show you kind of an interesting, weird, hacky way to make a small difference in that. I'm not sure how useful this is going to be in the real world. Perhaps something more can come of it later. I'm not exactly sure where this might head, but I thought it might be interesting at least to show you this interesting thing you can turn on and enable on your Pixel Fold. So to access this strange little experimental feature, what you must do is go down into your settings, all the way down then to About Phone, scroll down and look for Build Number and tap that a whole bunch of times until it pops up and says that you are now a developer. At that point, go to System, scroll down to Developer Options, and look all the way down almost to the very, very bottom. We're looking for Enable Freeform Windows. Turn that on and it's going to ask you to restart your device. It appears as though this one kind of just turned itself on in that process. Toggle that, reboot, and once you're done, you'll be back here at your home screen and you'll have a new option available to you. Typically, when you long press on an icon, you'll get this option here to jump into split screening. That will still be there. However, once an app has been opened, you'll now have the ability to select this icon and see a new option here that says Freeform. If you click on that, you now have that application running in a Freeform window that you can drag around and resize and do whatever you want to do with it. You can close it, rather maximize it, by pressing that button. Now, this is immediately kind of exciting, but it's not as useful as I think you might initially think it's going to be. Because let's say now I've got this app open and I wanna have something like Wise, my camera app, floating on top of this. It's just not that simple or easy to do. Because you can't just go here and grab Wise because the freeform thing is not going to be there as an option. If you've already got it running, you could then come over here and do freeform but now it's open and YouTube is closed. Open up YouTube and now it's behind it. You can hold and go back to Wise, but now this is what's going on. It's resizable, but you can't get to that. It just doesn't quite work the way that you would hope it would work. Now, this is quite strange. I think I might have Wise. Okay, that fixed itself. <laughs> so I'm not sure what the overall utility of this is going to be. You could go through the process of opening each of these applications opening them in free form and then selecting them off of your launcher like this to have you know all these different applications potentially running like this but again i just don't know how useful that's really going to be in the real world it's definitely interesting but it's not as useful as being able to grab an app and just launch it straight into a floating free form window that's something that i would love to see Google implement on the Pixel Fold. I don't really need three apps split screen, but two apps and a floating one would be an absolute game changer. And it seems as though a lot of the underpinnings have long been part of Android to make this work. So hopefully that's something that can be implemented later on. If not by Google, maybe some genius of a developer can find some sort of way to make that functionality work a little bit better. At any rate, I thought it was kind of cool and I thought I would bring it to you guys and let you take a look at it and see if you can find any utility for it yourself. Maybe there's something you want to use it for. Now you know about it, well maybe you didn't know before. Guys, subscribe before you go. I'll see you on the next one and until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.